So I'm heading over to Eli's now. I've been working on my car, changing out the air filters and everything, and I am sweating because it is so hot outside. It is currently 92 degrees in Florida. It is hot. Um, Eli just called and said that someone broke into our laundromat location and broke into, I believe he said, the coin pusher in the mini key master, which is so unfortunate. So we're going there to check it out, to clean up the mess, and to see what damage was done. This is our first ever break-in. That's good news. We haven't ever had this happen before. Funny thing is, I told Eli, thank goodness just collected from there a couple days ago. They probably couldn't even get to the bottom because it's locked. They just broke into the top glass half. I was telling Eli he wanted to add in another $100 wrap because we usually fill it to make it look very appealing. And just something in my gut was telling me no. And I was just like, I don't know why, but I don't think we should add in another one. It's almost like I knew someone was gonna break in. It's very strange. I should really listen to my intuition, the Holy Spirit inside me. <laughs> That's what we got going on and we celebrated Eli's graduation. A lot of you guys on YouTube probably don't know this, but he, maybe I don't know this, he started homeschooling when he was 16 I believe so we had like his little graduation party yesterday he was just saying he didn't want it to just be focused on him graduating because he doesn't see it as like a success like what's the point everyone graduates like whatever so we called it a celebration like of achievements of like everything he's done since he's turned 18 so like breaking 100k revenue and just honoring like his character and the kind of person he is so his mom did a good job with like giving out little homeschool certificates and she gave them out to like me and our parents and just like those people who really support us in growing this business and this channel his mom took everyone to one of our ice cream shop locations because we love the owner we love his ice cream yeah it was really nice and now today the next day we're gonna go check on our laundromat location. And then tomorrow's just Sunday, another chill day. All we got planned is church. We are gathering all the supplies we need. Replacement, what is it called? Glass. <laughs> <laughs> Replacement glass. More quarters for the machine. Wanna come back out once we install that? If Let's I do see that. The robber, I'm like that. Well, that's helpful. We'll come back for that. Why? Because we don't need to have money sitting in there as we're drilling in stuff. So this is what it looked like when we walked in. Um, some of the employees like picked up all the random quarters that were inside the machine or on the floor and they put them in a bucket for us. And then our other machine over there, the mini key master, also had tape all around it to show that clearly it's not working. They really didn't like that camera. <laughs> they cut the cord of it. I'd say we lost about $300 alone on our coin pusher, including all of the quarters and then all of the bills on top because we actually did just restock this machine a few days ago. At the end of this video, we'll be sharing with you the collection from from this location before the damage was done. Look, they didn't even, how did they rip it off? Look. Look, they left a dollar for us down there. <laughs> look, look, how did they not, they couldn't even figure out to just drop it. Oh my gosh. They literally funny. cut it, right? Did they? And they did this one too. What was on that? They, oh yeah, they got scissors and they cut through all the zip ties. Thanks for leaving us a dollar. Broke this whole back one. Thankfully, they had a vacuum at the laundromat. We just started vacuuming out all of the glass for our machine. We decided to stop and unscrew the top part that still had broken glass. That way, after we do it, the other pieces wouldn't fall and like we'd have to re-vacuum. So we did that. We also noticed the left side was dented, so Eli just bent it back up. And we're unscrewing this so we can put in the new glass that we had. And thank goodness, from all of our coin pushers that are sitting in the garage, like seven or eight of them, we took out a glass from that at home to bring to this location. So it's really nice that we had one on hand and we didn't have to order one. I'm sure another common question is going to be like, was that not plexiglass? Like a really hard, sturdy glass that's harder to break into? And I believe it was. I don't know. It was definitely a hard glass. I don't know. Maybe they used a hammer since the side was dented a little bit. But it is what it is. It happens. There's always a risk when you have a coin pusher. They make so much money that it's honestly just worth it. And I'm sure the next question is, did you get the footage on the camera that we had in the coin pusher? And to answer that, no. Honestly, little secret between me and you. They were not connected the wi-fi kept changing so we never fully connected it and they take so long to connect to wi-fi so no we don't have the footage even though that would have been so fun to re-watch that was a quarter <laughs> you are not going in there after one quarter yes he is <laughs> <laughs> Two twenties, two hundreds. Did you bring the bucket of KES? Oh yeah. Two of them. Same thing that we do in the barber over in the other laundromat. So we put the big bill, two fives, and then the rest ones. So I'm excited to see how this machine does. It's still getting shaking because the camera keeps moving. <laughs> Looking pretty empty. Are these still in stock? 
Yeah, yeah. The other box here won't fall. So we've got 100. So as you guys can see, the bucket of cash, the $100 wrap, and the Pokemon cards got stolen. But now for the collection, so we don't collect from each machine individually anymore just because it takes a lot of time here. So in total, in the past 20 days, all of the machines, besides the coin pusher, made a total of $210, and then the coin pusher alone made $328.75, leaving us with a total in the past 20 days of $558.75. As always, we hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for supporting our channel. See you guys next weekend. Bye guys.